نحمد و نسل علی رسول کریم اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹو آل دا اسٹوڈنٹس ان ڈیئر ویورس آم صفی اللہ شنواری ان آئی وڈ لائک ٹو ویلکم یو ونس اگین ٹو انادر سیشن آن دا سبجیکٹ آف لیڈرشپ آئی ہوپ اسٹوڈنٹس آل آف یو آر فائن ان ہیونگ گڈ ہیلتھ ان آلسو سیو فرام کووڈ نائنٹین سو لیٹس پروسیڈ ٹو آر ٹریس لیکچر ان سی دیٹ وار آر دا ٹاپکس وچ آر گوئنگ ٹو بی ایکسپلین ان ٹو دس سیشن ان شاء اللہ All right, students, uh, before beginning uh, the topic of today's lecture, uh, let me remind you that last time we explained leadership and motivation and we discussed some of the characteristics that the leaders they should possess in order to motivate his or her followers. So uh, we had, you know, a detailed lecture on this topic. I'm not going to, uh, you know, give information uh, in details right now here. In case, you know, if you have missed this lecture, you can go back to my channel and find the video. Uh, and study it. So let's uh, go ahead and see that uh, what are the topics which are going to be ex explained in today's session. As you see on screen, uh, so our today's uh, session is concentrated on the leadership styles. So we're going to introduce uh, what is the leadership style and also how many types of leadership styles are available, uh, you know, uh, which people possess. Uh, so uh, we have, you know, autocratic style of leadership. Uh, democratic style of leadership, laissez-faire, transformational and transactional. So in today's session, we're going to concentrate on autocratic, democratic and also laissez-faire styles of leaderships. We're going to explain these three with examples and also their advantages and disadvantages. In coming lecture, lecture inshallah, we're going to concentrate on uh, transformational leadership and also transactional leadership. So let's proceed. As you know, students, uh, across the world, we have, you know, various types of leaders in, uh, we have, you know, some political leaders, social leaders, uh, and also business leaders. And all these leaders, uh, they possess, uh, like, different type of uh, attitude, personality, uh, or characteristics. Because, you know, uh, leaders across the world, they do not possess the same style of uh, leadership, or they do not have, you know, same style of Uh, behavior, attitude, or, or, or they do not have, you know, same perspective. Uh, so that's why we say that, you know, leadership styles can be different. Person to person, uh, you know, depends on their personalities, on their attitude, you know, also on their behavior. That what type of leadership styles, you know, prefer uh, by leaders and what type of styles actually match their personality. Uh, as discussed, uh, that, you know, a few leaders adopt the carrot approach and few adopt the stick approach. So uh, actually the word carrot and stick approach, uh, this is, you know, an idiom. Uh, and also we can say that carrot and stick approach uh, normally refers to the policy of a leader, manager or organization uh, offering either rewards or the combination of rewards and punishment. So now it depends on the style of leadership. It depends uh, on the person that what approach he uses. Uh, does he use carrot approach? Uh, it means that the leader offers uh, rewards Uh, motivation uh, to his followers or does a leader prefer to use a stick approach uh, in which you know he strictly uh, command and order his followers uh, in case of uh, failure or in case of not performing the job well as uh, the leader directed the followers so the leader is using the stick approach means uh, punishing the followers thus all, all the leaders do not get the things done in the same manner یعنی تمام لیڈرس و رہبرا کے استن یا فالوورز خدا بیگ نوا موٹیویٹ نہ میکنا بیگ نوا گائیڈ نہ میکنا لیڈ نہ میکنا ہر ہر لیڈر طریقہ کار خدا دورہ اپروچ خدا دورہ بہت سن کے استن ریوارڈس میں تا تحفہ میں تا موٹیویٹ میکنا لیڈ میکنا فالوورز خدا و بہت سن کے استن یا کارہائی خدا با فالوورز بشکل انجام میں تا و یا را بشکل لیڈ میکنا کہ کارہا را انجام بتا کہ یا سٹرکٹلی وارا مینج میں کنا سٹرکٹلی لیڈ میں کنا در صورت غفلات یا در صورت انجام دادہ نے کار اگر کدام مشکلات بابین می آیا دیکھا دائی وقت لیڈرز کیس طریقہ کار جائی تر میں باشا کیا سٹرک اپروچ کیس اور استفادہ میں کنا یعنی پنشمنٹ ازیاد پریفر میں کنا از نمی خاطر اس مومی گیم کی لیڈرشپ سٹائلز متفاوت اس از نمی خاطر آوٹکم ہر نواز لیڈرشپ کیس متفاوت میں باش So their style varies, the leadership style varies with the kind of people uh, the leader interacts and deals with. So in situational, we have many leaders who have styles of the case, 
مردم اڈاپٹس میں کنا یعنی وٹ ٹائپ آف فالوورس ڈز ہی اور شی ہیو یعنی اسٹائل آف لیڈرشپ بازو اخ ڈیپینڈ میں کنا سر مردم لیڈر پریفر میں کنا کہ کدام اسٹائل بائت اپلائی شوا تدبیق شوا سو ڈیپینڈز آن پیپل آلسو اے پرفیکٹ اور اسٹینڈرڈ لیڈرشپ اسٹائل از ون وچ اسسٹ لیڈر ان گیٹنگ دی بیسٹ آؤٹ آف دی پیپل ہو فالو ہیم سو وی کین سے دیٹ دی بیسٹ اسٹائل وی مینشن دیٹ دیر آر مینی اسٹائلز بٹ وی کین سے دی بیسٹ اسٹائل از دیٹ وچ گیٹس دی ورک ڈن ان اے ویری پراپر وے اینڈ آلسو ان اے ویری افیکٹیو وے سو لیٹس پروسیڈ ان سی دی مین تھری اسٹائلس وچ آر گوئنگ ٹو بی ایکسپلین ان اور ٹوڈیز سیشن The first one is, you know, uh, autocratic style. Uh, before I'm going to uh, detail this or give, you know, detailed information about the autocratic style of management, uh, I would like to, uh, to remind you about a uh, few political uh, leaders in the history. I'm sure uh, by hearing or listening their names, automatically uh, the concept of autocratic leaders, uh, leadership style will come into your mind and you will have a good picture. So if you remember, you know, Hitler, Genghis Khan, Uh, Queen Elizabeth, so they are very famous leaders, you know, in the history. Uh, and if you study about them, uh, so you will you will find out that actually they were uh, the best examples of the autocratic style of leadership. Uh, so we can say that uh, in this style of leadership or management, uh, the leaders they do not prefer to take any input from the subordinates. Uh, the leaders make all decisions in in choices, you know, on their own ideas and opinions. Uh, this style of leadership, you know, can be effective and also ineffective at a time uh, because, you know, it depends on the level of the business, uh, the people in situation that the leader works with. Uh, like, you know, if we are, uh, if we just, you know, give, a, give an example from the uh, business prospect, if you have a sole proprietorship, if you have a sole proprietorship, you have control of your business. hold maker na kaise ke business a entitled maker na so uh, he has you know the complete command he has the complete authority to make all the decisions he doesn't give much uh, participation to his uh, followers or uh, other employees who work with so uh, organizations uh, we, we can say that the autocratic style of uh, leadership depends on organization time and people uh, so we can say now uh, from the business point of view organizations which are small in size and have less employees Uh, and the nature of the work requires uh, less decision in quick decision making process so then you know this style of uh, leadership is quite effective because you know it saves time and also uh, it gives you know quick results quick uh, feedback uh, and also quick decision making system but on the other hand if we see those organizations which are very big in size and have large number of uh, employees So then those organizations cannot adopt this style of leadership or management due to the fact that uh, they make uh, decisions or they have to make, you know, critical decisions uh, which need critical analysis, review, uh, and also uh, requires expert people uh, who have great knowledge, experience of decision makings. Uh, and also uh, in, in, in large organizations, uh, there are a large number of employees, as we mentioned before. So uh, these number of employees or those uh, expert people uh, from across the organization, they should come together uh, and they should participate and give their input uh, to make decision making process smooth and also effective. Uh, while the business organizations are, are multinational or they have many branches and they have, you know, a lot of employees, large number of employees. So they are making very uh, much, you know, big decisions for the for the growth of their business uh, or maybe, you know, for any, for any other aspect of their business. So whenever they're making important decisions and their decisions matter a lot uh, for the success of the whole organizations. So that's why they should call all those experts from across the organization. They should call all those employees and all, all those members uh, which can make uh, a very good decision. And they have the skills to provide you know, good ideas and good suggestions and which make the decision uh, making process very uh, effective and also healthy. And also, if you remember, uh, we, we have, uh, you know, like uh, a discussion in business communication that two heads are better than one. Yani zamane ki duna far girdi hamya ya se nafar chao nafar girdi hamya ya waya yak tasmim me gira u behtar azume wa shakya yak nafar bishna wa tasmim be gira. So as you see in the paragraph, in this style of leadership, a leader has complete command and hold over their employees, team. The team cannot put forward their views even if they are best for the teams or organizational interests. They cannot criticize uh, or question the leader's way of getting things done. 
یعنی دا آٹوکریٹک سٹائل کیس لیڈر مکمل کنٹرول دارا مکمل کمانڈ دارا امپلائیز یا ٹیم ممبر کیستن یا ہچ کدام موف کدانا میتونا کدام ڈیسیشن یا فارور کدانا میتونا یا دا ڈیسیشن کیس کدام رول خاص ندارا و و و لیڈرز کیس و برشان کدام اہمیت ہم نمیتا نی امپلائیز کیس حقی کرسزم دارا نی سوال کدانا دارا ای تمام چیزا کیس ای تمامش دا کنٹرول آٹوکریٹک لیڈرز میں بوشا و کیس گروپ لیڈ میکنا لیکن قسم کے مولا تشریح گفتیم کی اس سٹائل آف لیڈرشپ کیس دا اداراتی کی بسیار بزرگ باشا امپلائیز بسیار زیاد داشتا باشا و و تصمیم بسیار مهم ضرورت داشتا باشا دیگر دا اونجا ای سٹائل آف منیجمنٹ کیس باس پریکٹیکل نمی باشا ریالیسٹک نمی باشا یا زیاد زیاد کارامت نمی باشا چرا که اوی دارات ضرورت داره که زیاد مردم پارسپیٹ کنه و دیسیجن میکنگ کیس او باید آسان تر باشا آرائیت ایچ آف دیز منیجمنٹ سٹائل و لیڈرشپ سٹائلز they have you know they have their own pros and cons or they have their advantages and disadvantages tamami is style of leadership kiyas as khud khubi ham dara wa badi ham dara yani plus points ham dara wa negative points ham dashta me basha so first let's discuss you know the advantages of the autocratic leadership style the first advantage which it has that's you know speedy decision making یعنی دا آڈوکریٹک سٹائل آف منیجمنٹ ما گفتیم کہ ڈیسیجن میکنگ پروسیس کیا سو بسیار سری میں باشا بخاطر ایک تمام ڈیسیجنز کیا سو او اس طرف لیڈر ساختا میں چاہ تمام ڈیسیجنز کیا سو او می گرہ ایمپلائی انوالومنٹ بسیار کم میں باشا ایمپلائی انپٹ کیا سو دو کم میں باشا ایمپلائی ڈیزن شیئر یو نو ہیز اور ہر آئیڈیز سو دیٹس وائی دا ڈیسیجن میکنگ because you know uh, the leader is all about to make the decisions absolute control this is another advantages uh, of the uh, autocratic style of leadership in which uh, the leader himself or herself uh, has the best control because you know he doesn't let anybody else uh, to question or to criticize uh, focus target so the leader is uh, normally very much you know target and also very much focus you know on his uh, vision and also mission and objectives uh, streamline work process as we mentioned earlier that the control is uh, in the hand of the leader or the leader possess you know uh, the complete or absolute control so he's the one to lead the people he's the one to define the roles of the people and he's the one uh, to show the process of the work to his followers uh, close supervision another advantages of the uh, autocratic leaders leadership style is that uh, the leaders they are closely supervising uh, they are always you know on target and they are always you know focusing uh, and they're always, you know, evaluating the work process. So they have the close supervision, uh, maintain order and discipline. So leader is the one that actually uh, in this style of management or leadership, he's the one uh, to, to, to have, you know, best discipline and to keep order uh, and uh, do not let people to violate or break the discipline in uh, rules and regulations of the workplace. Uh, if employee do that, so as we mentioned before, that there will be a stick policy. Uh, it means, you know, that the employees will be punished. In at the, uh, the time of emergency, this is another uh, advantages of this style of leadership, uh, because you know whenever the organizations they are coming across uh, the problems and they need you know some uh, important decisions or also time decisions, and they need you know decisions to be made very fast and quick. So at that time, this style of management works best. But on the other side, it has uh, some uh, disadvantages. Uh, the first disadvantages of this style of uh, leadership is stress on followers. Hamesha followers has the stress me bosha, bakhatare ke bakodam nawa ke barishan hedayat dada shoda baad wa karhara ba unu mushakal anjam bata. Wa wa ham e mauzura da zahin dara ke aga karha ba unu mushakal anjam dada na shava as tarafi leaders kas barishan punishment me bosha. So that's why the employees are always uh, stress uh, due to the work and also due to the uh, style of the leadership. Uh, unilateral decision making process uh, this is another uh, bad point or negative point of this style of management in which the employees are not involved the group members are not involved so the the decision making process is unilateral it means only one person is making decision and that person is the leader himself uh, so that's why you know there is no or less involvement of uh, the group members in decision making process the third is decrease motivation so in this style of management, there is no reward system, there is no motivation, there is no encouragement. Uh, the leaders, they're always uh, focusing, you know, on, on what he or she wants to achieve. 
so he doesn't bother himself about the motivation of the employees uh, he always you know have only one policy stick policy to uh, to punish you know the employees for not performing their well uh, their work in a in a good or well way uh, so that's why we say that you know there is lack of motivation for the employees uh, in, increase employee turnover uh, this style of leadership uh, lets employees uh, to be uh, like very discouraged demotivated and whenever they get the chance uh, to find a job somewhere else so they're leaving the organization because uh, this style of uh, leadership always you know let employees to be in very st much stress and they do not see like you know a good future for themselves so that's why you know the, in the employee turnover is going to increase and they leave the organizations and uh, not using the experience of others we all know that inside the organization we have uh, some skilled people and they, they possess you know, great qualities and great education and experience. But this is the negative point of this autocratic leadership style that they do not let people to share their experiences, their knowledge in education. Uh, so that's why uh, we can say that you know, not using the experience of others, it's a very bad point uh, for the leaders that they're not letting people uh, to offer them the suggestions and ideas. Uh, if you see you know at the bottom of the slide this leadership style works only when the leader is best in performing or when the job is uh, monotonous yani e style of management or leadership the work behtarinas ke leader khodesh kar khoda ke behtar me fahmo ba shakl bichar khub tar ur anjam dada me tana wo ye hastan ke job nature ke so monotonous me basha yani ba shakl tikrari wo namuya kar anjam dada me sha da kodam creativity kodam nawaqt maujood na me basha دیگه کار یا پروسس کار کیس اون مو یک نواس به یک نو انجام داده میشه ان لیدر نوز هاو ٹو پرفارم دات بس اس اسٹائل اف مینجمنٹ خوب تر است ان اسکلڈ ان روٹین ان نیچر اور ویئر دا پروجیکٹ از شارٹ ٹرم ان رسکی وہ اس طرح کے امپلائیز کے امرے لیڈر میں باشا وہ ان اسکل میں باشا کار ہا کیس ان بالکل روٹین میں باشا وہ یہ پروجیکٹ ٹائم بھی سر کم اس یا رسکی میں باشا از خاطر لیڈر کیس میں خواہ کہ تمام کنٹرول کیس دا دست خود داشتا باشا Uh, so uh, these uh, are some of the advantages and disadvantages of this leadership style. So let's proceed to our second leadership style. Uh, democratic leadership style, which is also called the participative uh, and shared leadership style. So uh, in this style, the leaders or the managers, uh, they are allowing the group members, the followers, the people to participate in the decision making process. Uh, this gives confidence and motivation to the employees into the subordinates because they see themselves uh, in a very important position in the organization charagi baya haqi ida dada mesha ki da tasmim giriftan da idara kas ya role paida mekna so the leaders motivate the followers to give their ideas and opinions uh, and, and share their knowledge and experience you know as a source or as an input source in decision making process so uh, by giving chance to employees that they you know uh, inject or they put their views and ideas forward Uh, so they feel motivated and they uh, feel themselves that actually we are very much important in the organization uh, and also the employees you know they see themselves in a broad picture uh, and feel encouraged and motivated motivated so therefore we say that you know the democratic style of leadership is uh, effective uh, because you know uh, in this style all the people and all the followers uh, they see themselves very much important in the organization but nevertheless that the final call or the final decision is uh, made by uh, you know uh, the democratic leader by himself but he asks people for ideas for suggestions and for opinions and he gives important to people in their ideas in their views uh, and and also we can say that uh, this style of leadership is uh, uh, very much effective for the reason that it uh, encourages creativity and also people are uh, often you know highly engaged uh, and also motivated you know Uh, in the decision making process as a result we can say that uh, team members tend to have you know high job satisfaction tana job satisfaction ke as us salary as bonuses as rewards na mia de idara zyat itar nuqat ya factors me bosha ki job satisfaction na paida me kana ya ke education value me bosha creativity me bosha employees itar ya working environment ta داشته می باشه که دو تمام اسکلای خودا و تمام تجارب خودا و از علم خود که است بیشتر و بهتر استفاده کرده می تانه از این خاطر که استن امپلایز جاب سیٹسفیکشن که است او را حاصل می کنه این های پروڈکٹیویتی دیس از نات آلویز این افیکتیف سٹائل تو یوز دو یو نیڈ تو میک یو نو ا کویک ڈیسیجن یا 
uh, as a leader or as an organization, if you want to make you know, quick decisions uh, and, and you do not want to consume a lot of time you know, on making decisions, so then the, this style of management you know, does not work best for you. There are some uh, you know, characteristics of the democratic, uh, democratic leadership style. Uh, but you know, before I'm going to explain those characteristics in the demographic style of leadership, uh, I would say that you know, even some of the research and studies suggest that uh, this style of leadership or this style of management is very effective because it allows uh, free communications uh, and also it allows the leaders to motivate their employees and employees uh, feel creative. The employees have the opportunity to be creative. Uh, the productivity of the employees is going very high. So better contribution contribution in increasing uh, group morales. So these are all you know the good characteristics of uh, the democratic leadership style. Uh, there are some other characteristics which are going to be explained, like uh, group members are encouraged to share their ideas. This is one of the best part of the democratic leadership style, where the leaders uh, they encourage the subordinates and the people who work under their control, uh, and ask them for ideas and ask them for their opinions uh, and viewpoints. Uh, and uh, the leaders retains the final say or uh, the final decision. Yani ideas or nazariyat kas as the garag rifta mesha khwa akhiri tasmim kas ura khudi leader migira. Members of the group feel very engaged in the process. Yeah, because you know it's a participative uh, st style of leadership where everybody participates, where everybody shares their knowledge, opinions, and ideas. So that's why all all the group members they are very much engaged in the process of making decision. Creativity is also encouraged and rewarded. Uh, the group members are allowed uh, to be creative uh, in, 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 uh, to, to have you know, their ideas and opinions uh, and do uh, work you know, with, with more creativity and productivity. Uh, and also uh, the creativity is rewarded. Uh, there is you know, like uh, a carrot kind of approach. Uh, if you do something better, so you will be rewarded. Uh, researchers also suggest that good democratic leaders possess specific threats. Yani zamane ki kudam leader democratic style of leadership dara workers and baze threats or characteristics dara that include honesty. So the leader should be honest with the group, with himself, uh, with the followers, intelligence. Uh, the leader, you know, in this style of management or in this style of leadership must have, you know, intelligence skills, uh, courage, uh, creativity by himself. Uh, if leader wants, you know, uh, from the team uh, to be creative, so the first uh, creativity quality must uh, be, you know, uh, like like uh, it, it must be possessed by the leader by himself and uh, awali quality by the khud leader basha ki creative creative leader basha wa chara ki leader de garara inspire me kana ki khud leader creative basha me tana ki sare team team khud ham inspiration dasta basha wa wara ham creative basa za competence and also fairness strong democratic leaders inspire trust and respect among followers wa inawa leadership kes e mesha based on trust me basha because you know you trust your group members uh, and uh, you are encouraging you know uh, to give you the best and good ideas so these are some of the characteristics of the democratic leadership style uh, and it's also said that you know the democratic leaders are sincere in making decisions based on their morals and values yom as a research sabitasan ke aksar leader ke style of democratic dara wa democratic style of leadership kas wa apply me kana in our leaders kas ya bisar sadiq me basha wa high morals dasta me basha and they always have you know special values uh, followers tend to feel inspired to take action and contribute to the group good leaders also tend to seek diverse opinions and do not try to silence uh, you know the group members yani the in our leadership hamesha leaders uh, work as diverse opinions of me khaya azar kas nazariyat wa pishna hodat shana me khaya wa na me khaya ki sadae kasara kas silent kuna yani ba har kas haq dada misha chans dada misha ki wa nazariyat khuda kas azu istifada kuna wa nazariyat khuda offer kuna so let's discuss some of the advantages and disadvantages of democratic leadership styles uh, because uh, we mentioned earlier that all these styles they may, ha may have you know uh, some positive points and also some negative points uh, in the advantages of a democratic leadership style, there are some important points. Number one, it includes everyone in decision making. Uh, as we said earlier that in this style of management, uh, the group members are encouraged uh, to contribute and share their ideas, experiences and thoughts. Uh, so uh, this is one of the plus point of this style of management. The next one is that it improves employee satisfaction. 
yeah, whenever employees, they find themselves in a better position and also employees feel that actually they are important in their decisions are, uh, they are sorry, uh, their ideas are important uh, and, and leaders ask, you know, for their views, for their ideas, for their experience. So uh, definitely employees, you know, find themselves uh, in, in the better position, in the good picture, and suddenly they are satisfied uh, with their job. And also it, it improves, you know, productivity uh, and shows respect, you know, for each other. Uh, at the same time, this style of leadership uh, has benefits, you know, for leaders uh, because, you know, the leaders will be able to find better solutions to problems uh, by, by gaining uh, and also by obtaining, uh, you know, ideas and opinions, you know, from others. Uh, from the group members uh, because you know this is participative style of management and at the same time you know the group members feel confidence uh, and feel important because you know they are involved in the decision making process but at the same time uh, this style of leadership has also some drawbacks some down downsides and also some disadvantages we can call them that it takes time and also the leaders uh, depend on the knowledge of the followers and there are lots of other uh, points uh, which are you know included in the negative category of this style of leadership uh, like for example you know we can say that uh, it's time consuming it takes time uh, uh, like you know whenever all the empl employees you know are getting together and all the members they are getting together you know on one platform uh, and everybody is offering you know his or her ideas so uh, generating ideas and then collecting those ideas and processing those ideas and uh, finally deciding you know one good idea so this process needs uh, time uh, on, on the other hand you know we can say that leaders depend on the knowledge of the followers yani leaders kes hamesha decisions ke migra zarurat paida mein karna to ke ideas aur nazariyat followers bhi aaya wadu ek nazari khuba kes intikhab karna creativity leader kes khush kes azmain mera uh, the next drawback of this uh, style of leadership is that uh, under uh, this style of leadership, the role of the members is ambiguous. Uh, Sometimes, you know, uh, in this style of leadership, we can say that the role of uh, the members, the followers is very much, you know, uh, uncertain, you know. And also they don't know what role they play in what work process they should do. So whenever your role is not clear automatically, uh, it just, you know, uh, makes the work process uh, a touch slower. Uh, and also in case of failure, uh, then, you know, the group members, they are blaming each other because, you know, nobody has a clear or a defined role. So whenever your roles are not defined, then in case of failure, everybody blames each other. But in case of success, then everybody is getting or gaining credit for himself. In uh, another uh, downside or drawback of this style of leadership is that communication failure uh, is occurring uh, because uh, whenever uh, in this style of leadership, uh, too many people they are participating and they are communicating uh, you know with each other and everybody has you know uh, different potential and also uh, different way or style of communication so whenever lots of people they are communicating uh, due to their communication due to the burden of the information so it, it can just you know lead the whole communication process to a failure and also uh, due to you know different ideas in opinions it may create conflict among among the group members so this is one of another disadvantages of this kind of uh, leadership style uh, the next or the third uh, disadvantages of this type of man uh, management or leadership is that uh, uh, as we mentioned earlier that the leaders uh, they are strongly dependent on the knowledge of the followers uh, and the leaders they always you know include or involve the followers in the decision making process so now whenever you are asking your followers uh, to be part of the decision in case your group members your followers may not possess the required skills abilities experience and knowledge uh, to make you know a good decision or a sound decision or to contribute you know their good ideas and sound ideas so automatically uh, it, you know it creates a problem that whenever you don't have you know like skillful followers یعنی کسایی که فالوورز شما هستن و استعداد خاص نداره دیگه واقعا سمرا شما به شکل بهترین نمیتونه که در ڈیسیژن میکنگ پروسس کمک کنه سو دیز ور یو نو سم نگیٹیو پوائنٹس بٹ اسٹل وی کین ناٹ ڈینائی دا فیکٹ دیٹ ا ڈیموکریٹک لیڈرشپ اسٹائل از ون اف دا افیکٹیو اسٹائل ان موسٹ ارگنائزیشنز اکراس دا ورلڈ دے ار اڈاپٹنگ یو نو دیز ڈیز دس کائنڈ اف اسٹائل ان دے ار لیٹنگ دیر امپلائیز ٹو بی مور کریٹیو مور سیٹسفائیڈ ود دیر جاب انوائرمنٹس ان ان دے ار جس نو letting the employees to be awarded, you know, for their good works uh, in, involve or include the employees in decision-making processes.
Democratic leadership works best in situations where group members are skilled in eager to share their uh, knowledge. Uh, and also, it's also important to have plenty of time to allow people to contribute, develop a plan, and then, you know, vote on the best course of action. Yani, as you paragraph, I have to say that the democratic leadership style is better to adopt the leaders to implement the group members have a lot skilled people. و و علاقه من دیزی باشه که نظریات و افکار خودم رایت شریک کنه سیکنڈ ایتس آلسو امپارن تو هف پلانتی اف تایم با این اوه لیڈرشپ ستایل تایم بسیار مهم است که امرای لیڈر و امرای فالوورز با تمامشان کس وقت زیاد باشه که هر کس نظریات خود کانتریبیوت کنه و هر کس کس از کنسپت خود استفاده کنه و بعد از یک پلان دیولپ شوه که نظریات تمام نظریات باید گیدر شوه بعد از او انالیسیس صورت بگیره و, و بعد از او کس یک بهتر نظر کس او را میتونن انتخاب کنه چرا که یک پروسی بسیار طولانی میشه دیگه این او منجمنت و این او لیرشیف ستایل کس در اینی اوقات بهتر است تو هف سکل امپلایز، ایگر امپلایز این آلسو تو هف تایم سو دیز ار دو تری فیکٹرز ویچ یو شد هف بعد از او کس شما میتونن که این او یا ای ستایل لیرشیف کسی را اپلای کنین Okay, uh, the third type of leadership style is the laissez-faire leadership style. Uh, this style was developed by Kurt Lewin. Uh, you are familiar, you know, with uh, this name because, you know, Kurt Lewin uh, was one of the scholar or one of the great uh, author that actually he contributed in the study of social, social psychology quite a lot. Uh, we, we have, you know, a lot of models that actually uh, he developed in change management and also in HR. Uh, and also, you know, for the leadership subjects. So let's come to uh, the point that, you know, what's the laissez-faire leadership style. Uh, this style is uh, one of the leadership style which is totally opposite or, you know, or vice versa to autocratic leadership style earlier we discussed. Uh, because, you know, in autocratic leadership style, if you remember, uh, we discussed that uh, the autocratic leader holds the complete power in authority. Uh, but uh, in laissez-faire style of leadership, the followers are making decisions. Uh, the followers, they hold the great power in authority and they are making de uh, decisions regarding the organization, regarding the business or the workplace. Uh, so uh, more, more uh, importance is given to followers, more authority is given to followers uh, and, and uh, the followers are allowed to make you know, decisions regarding the organization plus their working environment. So uh, if we discuss, you know, uh, people who want to, to, to want to be creative or people who want to be participative uh, and have the desire to deploy their, their knowledge, their skill, ability in the workplace uh, and, and they want to gain rewards, you know, for, for their performances. So they find, uh, you know, themselves very much happy in this kind of leadership. Uh, and also people who are very much creative and they can find solutions, you know, to all problems at the workplace. Uh, so they're better to work, you know, under this uh, style of leadership. But on the other side, people who prefer to work in uh, environments uh, with strict rules and regulations uh, and less involvement of employees in the decision-making process, then they prefer, you know, the autocratic style of uh, leadership or management. So we can say that, you know, uh, it depends on people also that, you know, in what sort of uh, leadership style they want to work in, what sort of leaders, you know, they want to follow. Uh, so that's why, you know, like all leadership styles, uh, they are for different situations, for different people and also uh, for different organizations, they work better. So we can say that uh, in this uh, style of leadership, the leaders totally trust their employees uh, and also the team members to perform the job themselves. Yani, tamami salahiyat kar uba followers dada mesha wa wa me fama wa kar anjam dada ne kar shan me fama. Uh, he just concentrates on the intellectual and rational aspect of his work and does not focus on the management aspect of his work. Uh, so uh, in this type of leadership, you know, the leader just only concentrates on the intellectual and rational aspect of the work of the employees and, and does not try to manage, you know, their work because, you know, uh, the leader lets uh, the followers to manage their work by themselves, to, to, to lead themselves and to guide themselves and motivate themselves to work. Uh, the team and employees are welcomed to share their views in, uh, provide suggestions uh, uh, like, you know, we discussed earlier in democratic style. Uh, that's uh, the laissez-faire style also, uh, you know, mating in this point with the democratic style. Because in this, in this style also, uh, the leaders, they let and allow the employees and followers uh, to share their opinions and ideas and, and, and provide their suggestions. 
uh, which can be you know best uh, for the organizational interest and also for the personal interest of the employees this leadership style works only when the employees are skilled loyal experienced and intellectual so when they have these four qualities when your followers and employees they are skilled they are loyal in their experience and intellectual so when they have these four qualities so as a leader uh, you you do not need to guide them or lead them uh, you can just you know work on their intellectual and rational aspect of their work and let them to work for you so the people who call themselves that they are lazy fair uh, leaders or they have you know the threats and characteristics of lazy fair uh, leaders they must possess you know these uh, threats and these characteristics number 1 uh, laissez faire leaders they delegate authority to capable experts uh yani uh, laissez faire leaders kya stan ya hamesha authority ya salahiyat kya ira ba followers me ta ba followers ke wa capable basha wa experts basha wa knowledge dasta basha wa background e behtar dasta basha maximize the leader qual leadership qualities of the staff so in this type of leadership whenever the leaders they let the employees the followers to work by themselves to motivate uh, themselves by themselves uh, to lead themselves so it's a kind of uh, learning experience you know for for the followers because you know the, the followers they are making environment the followers they are uh, designing or they are uh, arranging all the works uh, they are leading you know the work processes they are streamlining the work uh, processes so this is like an opportunity you know for the people who are working uh, under the lazy fair uh, type of leadership because they learn they improve they enhance the skill and quality of a leader uh, so it gives them uh, the chance to improve themselves you know in future to be like future leaders uh, you know uh, praise accomplishments and reward success so leaders you know in this uh, leadership style uh, they always you know appreciate and they always you know reward those people who are successful you know uh, in their work processes uh, in in and they always you know make sound decisions and they always you know uh, bringing you know uh, like like efficiency and effectiveness to organization offer constructing uh, constructive criticism when necessary so leaders uh, of uh, laissez faire styles uh, they do cons uh, you know offer criticism but actually their criticism is very much constructive in mood or in style uh, they never criticize negatively they always criticize positively uh, they if if the if the followers under this style of uh, leadership they make mistakes so the leaders guide them motivate them uh, and and show them the right way but in a very positive way uh, allow stuff to solve problems and manage challenges uh, as we said earlier that in this style uh, all the authority is in the hand of uh, the followers uh, the people who work under this style of leadership so they possess the great authority and great power so uh, this style of leadership gives an opportunity to the followers that they should that they should find a solution to the problems and they manage all the challenges which occur in the organization or in the working area uh, uh, know when to step in and lead during a crisis uh, so, you know leaders of this style they know that when they should interfere when they should uh, should step in uh, in the process of work and when they should lead uh, whenever they see that there is a problem uh, with the followers there is a crisis situation and the situation is critical so then you know the leaders they are just you know coming in and once again they are leading from the front in order to take the team out of the problem so now the question is this uh, as we discussed earlier that uh, the people who want to be creative who want to be problem solvers and who want to manage everything by themselves so they lo they love to work you know uh, under the uh, democratic style of management but those people who want to be very much controlled and they want to have strict rules and regulations uh, and and they do not want to be involved in decision making process they love to work you know under the uh, autocratic style of uh, leadership but now let's discuss you know who are the people uh, that actually they they love to work you know under the lazy fair style of leadership uh, or management so let's discuss you know those people people who are self starters who excel at individual uh, individualized tasks and who don't require ongoing feedback from other team members often prefer working under this style of management so people who are self starters it means you know they they begin everything by themselves they don't need uh, for any direction for any instructions uh or or for any sort of information you know from others to get and then begin they know they start everything by themselves they are the people they motivate themselves uh, they do not need for any feedback or for for any appreciation from other people successful is fair leaders typically work with people who have strong skills this is one of the requirement people who want to work under this leadership style they must possess some strong skills 
they should have extensive education or experience very broad knowledge they must have about their job and also pretty much you know uh, experience they should have under their belts uh, in order to work under this uh, sort of uh, leadership or management style are self motivated and driven to succeed on their own as we mentioned earlier that in this style of management or leadership style uh, when the followers they want to work under this style they are self motivated they do not need for any outer source or for any external source uh, to motivate them you know for their work or for achieving uh, achievement of their work or for achieving the objectives and goals actually they are the people that they are self motivated and they always want to drive themselves uh, and also lead uh, themselves in in the direction that they can achieve their goals and their objectives have proven records of achievement on specific projects uh, so these sort of people they always have you know like a very good background and they have like records and they have proven records it means what they have the practical knowledge of their work are comfortable working without close supervisions so in this sort of uh, leadership style uh, the followers they do not require uh, any sort of supervision that people should supervise their work should manage their work so they are supervisors of themselves they are leaders of, them, of themselves they are self motivated they have all those qualities which a leader should have but at the same time uh, uh, even though uh, the laissez faire uh, leadership has you know some drawbacks uh, and also some advantages so let's you know at first discuss the advantages of this style of leadership Number one, it encourages personal growth uh, because leaders are so hands off. It means, you know, the leaders, uh, they do not want to interfere in the managerial activities or they do not want to motivate or they do not want to lead the group. So they're just, you know, people who are uh, like like working on the intellectual prospect of the uh, the followers. So they're just, you know, looking things from outside in their approach. Em em uh, employees have a chance to be hands on means all control all uh, decision making processes work processes everything is controlled by the employees this leadership style creates an environment that facilitates growth and development yeah uh, personally uh, all the followers and all the people who work under this style of leadership they have the chance to grow themselves uh, to a professional level to be to be you know future leaders uh, so when you have you know the environment uh, where the control or the power of decision making is given to you as an employee or as a follower so uh, definitely it gives you the opportunity to grow uh, personally and professionally in your skills and abilities uh, and, and to be like a future leader to be like a future manager uh, the next point is that it encourages innovation uh, the freedom given to employees can encourage uh, creativity and innovation uh, as a follower or as a, as a, as a you know uh, the employee uh, who work under the style of leadership or under the style of management where all the authority is given to you or the power is given to you to make decisions so definitely it encourages you uh, to create you know uh, some some sort of you know uh, innovations and bring creativity to your work uh, because you know all the process you know lays in your hands third it allows you for faster decision making since there is no uh, like you know macro management um, uh, uh, and also employees under the fair leadership have uh, the autonomy to make their own decisions they are able to make quick decisions without waiting uh, to ask for any direction or for any help or for any approval you know from the top management so that's why we say that decisions in this uh, sort of uh, leadership style can be made very easily and also uh, quickly because all, all, all the authority is in the control of uh, the followers uh, and they have you know the, the, the authority to make decisions uh, for the work process and also for the working environment so all right so there are some disadvantages uh, which are included you know in the laissez faire style of management the first one is you know lack of role clarity uh, as we had the problem you know in the uh, democratic style of leadership that you know a role was not clear here also uh, in this style of management uh, role of the individual is not clear it's ambiguous in some situations uh, the laissez faire style leads uh, to poorly defined roles within the group uh, so because the group members they do not know what their roles are what they need to perform so in case if they do well uh, they give credit everybody give uh, credit to himself but in case of failures so they're just you know blaming each other uh, since team members received little uh, to no guidance they may not really be sure about their role uh, because you know as we said earlier that in this style of leadership uh, the leaders they hand off it means what uh, they do not uh, interfere, they do not guide, they do not lead, they do not give uh, any sort of direction to the followers. Uh, so that's why everything should be done by the followers and by the people. 
so within this now the group uh, they do not have you know any guidance so that's why they sometimes they, they are not sure about their role what to do uh, even within the group and what they are supposed to be doing with their team yani chiz ke ya bait anjam bata ura ya na me fama wo chiz ke ya anjam me ta azi khabar na me bacha ke aya ya bain ami hadaf कैस गाइड से या कदम हदफ है कि लीडर दा रहा आया वॉक एस एन फॉलोअर्स छन कैस एन दोनों डायरेक्शन मेरा या ना मेरा सो देयर इज लाइक एम्बिग्विटी चरा के लीडर छ में खाया वो फॉलोअर्स चिरन जम में था एम्बिगुअस सिचुएशन क्रिएट में शा लीडर्स कैस मिसल इंटरफेरेंस ना में कना मुदाखला ना में कना फॉलोअर्स कैस कंफ्यूज में बशा कि आया या कि कदम कर रहा जम में था ई चीज एस के लीडर में खाया या नेस so this is you know called like uh, lack of role clarity and also uncertainty for the group members uh, the next point is poor involvement with the group in this self uh, leadership as we mentioned uh, quite a lot that the leaders they do not have any interference they do not have any involvement uh, they do not provide any direction or any sort of instructions uh, to the followers uh, so uh, it's it's like one of the poor point or one of the disadvantage of the Uh, it is a fair style of uh, leadership so whenever uh, the leaders they are not involved on the work processes and they are not leading the followers so sometimes followers become careless and uh, become just you know reckless uh, about their work uh, because you know there is no one to follow them there is no one to guide them and lead them and there is no one uh, to to manage their work right so that's why uh, in this sort of management or in this sort of leadership style uh, sometimes the employees can become Uh, very uh, much you know careless uh, and it, and it will affect you know uh, their working processes uh, and also as a whole it will affect the organization third uh, the disadvantage of this style of management is low accountability uh, some leaders you know take advantage of this style as a way to avoid responsibility for the group's failures in case you know if the group uh, fails or they do not perform their job uh, the way uh, they should have performed the job So now you know the leaders uh, may think or may say that actually I'm not responsible because of what all the responsibility and authority was given to the group to make decisions uh, in 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 to 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 select you know the work processes uh, and and select you know the course of actions to be taken. So therefore, sometimes the leaders choose uh, this sort of management or leadership style because you know in this style uh, accountability is pretty low uh, since the leader is not involved uh, right in the decision making process. when goals are not met the leaders can uh, then blame members of the team for not completing task or living up to the expectations yani leaders ba jo ki style adopt me kana ji khataram ke tamam masuliyat ba team da damesha ba followers da damesha aga followers da ukar khud na kam shawa ke ahdaf pura kana ya ura badas pyara ahdaf badas pyara te ga boz leader ब्लेमिंग में कना तमाम मसूलियत सारे टीम मेम्बर्स में में अंदाजा व वार मलामत हिसाब में कना चला कि वह ना तनिस्तन के वजीफे शाना पूरा करना व मु एक्सपेक्टेशन या तो कैसपेशन बुद्ध पूरा पूरा पसा जा द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज दैट यू नो द पॉइंट इज अबाउट यू नो पैसिवनेस दैट सम टाइम यू नो दिस स्टाइल ऑफ लीडरशिप लेट द लीडर्स टू बी वेरी मच यू नो पैसिव इन देयर मूड्स uh and also they 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 do not you know uh, interfere in the processes of the work of the employees because uh, whenever uh, the the members or the followers they are performing the job so the leaders they are not offering them any solution uh at the time of the problem so they do not follow or give them any direction how to perform their work or the leaders they do not motivate the followers uh do not you know try to recognize about the efforts of the teams and also uh, making no attempts or no try uh, to be involved you know with the team uh, to give them uh, like a kind of uh, direction or instruction to perform the work so that's why uh, this is one of the negative point chalo ke mukammal masuliyat ba team da da mesha leader ke as bilkul passive me bosha o ishtirak nadar sami bosha da kar hoy shon